What's going on YouTube, Bob5 here, the next showdown live, second, not the second showdown live of all time, but like, you know, another showdown live. A different team, same alt. Ideally, we don't face Hoopa. Who knows, maybe it's already banned, I haven't been on showdown today. This is literally how I'm starting off my day on showdown, with a... This coonery, so he leads Braviary. So that wants me. That me. That makes me want to scald something here. So I'm just gonna click scald. He's gonna U-turn. He's going to U-turn. That's pretty much inevitable. If he was like sub or something, that might have been in his best interest. So if we burn this Decidueye and he's not Lumberry, we don't burn it. Of course not. But he's feel like he's not too offensive, just based on the fact that he's leftovers. Uh, goes for the Shackle. That's gonna do 11. I'm not fat in Cinnaroar this time. I don't have U-Turn either, which would be the play if I did have it. But I guess Darkest is the play. He goes to Braviary, which I can't agree with. But he did have, uh... The, uh... It's a thing called the Comfy that was kind of threatening. Not Comfy, uh, Houndoom. That uh, made me, uh, not want to immediately click Flare Blitz. Um, so he goes into Slow King. I'm just gonna go into Healy the list, I guess, because I don't want to risk Decidueye getting burned. So he goes right for Scald, so he really doesn't care. He does have Decidueye, so I'm gonna Volt Switch. Just because Decidueye would be a better. Okay. But what's he gonna click, though? Dragon Tail, maybe? Psy Shock? If he goes for Psy Shock, I'm looking like a god. He goes for Future Sight. I'm just gonna click Darkest and kill his Slow King. And try to be in with Slow Bro. Or the up oh he goes in the um steal it so that should facilitate the slow bro play if I want to make it so he basically facilitated this play for me uh I also could have flare blitzed and not having having ended up not taking the thing at all he shouldn't stay in here so we're gonna toxic the switching so good play on our part good play If I fuck around and stay in, I'm gonna be trapped. So I'm just gonna go make the obvious Incineroar play. He has Toxic, so he probably is some bulky set. I don't know if he wants to get rid of his own rocks. I'll just go for another Darkest, why not? Pretty good play most of the time. Um, so he has that most likely bulky Decidueye, which is based on the fact that he's Toxic and Leftovers. So, um, every time Slowbro comes in, that thing's gonna get to come in. I had to make sure of that and be aware of that. So my man's taking his sweet time to make his move here. Um, so, uh, you know, we got in we're out. Okay, he goes into Houndoom, so it's a good thing I didn't click Dark or Blitz. That does more than enough to satisfy me. So I'm just gonna go for an Earthquake. I probably could have Blitzed too, but we'll take- Ooh, hella damage. We'll definitely take that. If we're not in Draining Kiss range, we're going to destroy this thing with Flare Blitz. Oh. Shit, man, fuck Comfy, dude. I really thought we would live that shit. So I guess we'll go into Decidueye and click. The problem is the Houndoom comes in after the Houndoom's at 6. So, uh... Leaf Blade, no, he has less Ghost... No, he has a complete immunity to Ghost. So I guess I'll Leaf Blade. Because he has a complete Ghost immunity, well, he only has one Grass Resist, or actually, he only has a few Grass Resists. Most of which don't want the smoke after Stealth Rock. Braviary's at 41, yeah, I'm just gonna click the Leaf Blade. 
because I don't see him switching to Sigil I into this, Houndoom and Braviary will both die, so it's probably a matter of which one he chooses to let die. And this will be a free ass CB Leaf Blade, honestly. Steelix takes a decent amount and I can go into Slowbro. I kinda wish I had rocks on this team, but uh, what can you do? <laughs> he is taking the sweet time with this move too, I don't know why. I don't know what happened in between this play and this play. He moves so fast on this one, and he is taking until the next life with the uh, other ones. The plays are surrounding it, so hopefully it's not like this for the rest of the battles. Um, you may not know this, but I do have no way to pause, so if, if background noise or something gets too loud, I have to go turn off my mic. So, that happens. That was a thing last live. I'm trying to make him that not as prominent, but sometimes out of my control. Either way, we're approaching the six minutes mark. Uh, assuming I don't edit anything out or pause or make any edits, the the raw recording file is about six minutes right now. It's six ten to count. And he is taking his sweet time today. Um. So while we're on the topic, um. Part of the reasons for my inactivity, you know, just the music career, I'm, I'm actually getting that facilitated. Listening to tracks like Where There Are and Ball Like Dinwiddie, I think you guys will enjoy those tracks. 30 seconds for this man. Come on, Fabio59. You gotta move a little faster. You're not, you're moving a little too slow for my liking. And Decidualize entered the game for the first time this live. I don't know if I played the game. Okay, he goes for Calm Mind, so this should die, right? Yeah, Earthquake to 43, get out of here. Off my screen, boy. Miss, miss me with that bullshit. So he goes into Houndoom, I don't mind Cinero no more. Well, I do have Niancy, so I'll just switch that in. There's no way he's a Sludge Bomb, is that what he'd use? Fire Blast? Okay, I don't care about that. Uh. Slowking and Comfy are dead, by the way. Houndoom's dead to rocks. So I might as well just Moonblast. Good, good, good play by his, by this man going for the thing. He can go to whatever he wants. If he goes into uh, Steelix, I'll get some. He just out of here. All right. So that's gonna be the first. Is it the first game? I really don't even remember no more. Let's just hop into another one. We got this nigga. He doesn't have any new bomb. He does have Sand Slash A, which is his spinner, and beats my spin blocker. That's kind of upsetting. I don't want to lead Heliolisk on the off chance he leads Torterra or Passimi. I don't know what to lead. Okay, we'll lead Decidueye, I guess. He leads with Sand Slash, of course he does. So I guess we'll just get the fuck out of here. He shouldn't be faster than us, unless he's like max speed Jolly, in which I will forfeit. So, faster. I feel like Toxic is imminent, but I'm gonna go slow bro anyway. Just because it does well versus this Stealth Rock. So I don't know if that's a spinner. Wait, what the fuck? He has a Torterra. So now I'm confused as to what the Torterra. So right, Torterra is probably going to be offensive in that case. Go ahead and get predicted. Oh, the Toxic. Saw that coming. Your boy knew. Sometimes I just know. We're going to go into Incineroar on this. I don't give a fuck that it's a water type. I'm just going into Oh, actually, I have a... He predicted Heliolisk though, so, I mean, he did predict Heliolisk, so if I went like Deancey, or if I went Slowbro, or not Heliolisk, or not the other Mon, yeah. He's gonna U-turn, good play, good play. By good play, I mean not a terrible play, he goes into his own Incineroar, which I do have the Cobra Berry, so I might want to take the time to Scald first. He's probably gonna U-turn again. Just based on how he's playing, I wouldn't be so- Okay, he Earthquake's predicting the Deancey, so good. But it didn't work out for you. I go for the Earthquake. I go for the Scald, actually. What the hell? Now I'll switch- I could switch Passimian in on the potential Dark move. Or I could like- If I- I feel like he's getting a U-turn this turn. He actually goes for Knockoff. I thought U-turn was a minute, but uh, it's actually Knockoff. Not Knockoff. Um, what's the move called? Knockoff. Yeah, he did go for knockoff. I was like, wait, I thought he was gonna U-turn. Now he U-turns, so... He probably thinks he's slapping me around, but it was just... That's just... Those are just average points. Um, so, like... Like, I 
I'm gonna follow Sushi and Sinor directly into this. It'll be good for Jellicent and Zatu. But I have Heliolus that'll beat both of them as well. And he does have a T-Bolt immunity that Incineroar can hit with Flare Blitz, so I'm not sure about that. He's probably going to double or something. This goes for Iron Head, so I kind of have the momentum back, but when you have Slowbar out, you really don't have, there's no such thing as momentum. So I guess he's Stealth Rock, Spin, Dual Stab. That would be my initial bet. I'm just going to go for Psy Shock on the Jellicent. It's not difficult. It doesn't do much damage, but it's it's not hard to predict. It's not relatively, it's not too easy to predict either, but um, it's in the middle. I don't know what he's clicking here. I couldn't tell you. I'm gonna go to Heliolus because that's like a middle ground. He does Will Wisp, so I wanted to go to Sidjoy, but I'm glad I didn't. And now I'm kind of locked because I really don't have much plays outside of. Hyper Voice, which I'm gonna click anyway, because Torterra's imminent. Do over half, please. That did 49, man. Showdown, you always get 50 whenever you do 49. No, that's not true. It's not true, but it does happen pretty often on show. Hey! Shit. So, um, Jellicent shouldn't stay in. It shouldn't stay in, so we're gonna YouTube. Yeah, Incineroar comes out. Miss me with it. Do enough. Okay, 22 is not enough. Um, I don't know if Passimian does enough with U-turn. Its own U-turn. I know my Incineroar is probably faster than his, so I'm gonna do that. Cause I'm I'm pretty sure my Incineroar is faster than yeah. Nah, out of here. So uh, good thing my Incineroar outsped his. So he probably gets an offensive vibe and wants to go with his Passimian. I don't know if how much I want to predict close combat. If I blitz, like, he has no... S I don't... Yeah. He goes for knockoff, which is even better for me, because if I... He, he forfeited? <laughs> Let's go, boy! The play's from ya, boy. Still got that play game on deck. We'll get into another one. This team's kind of fun. I haven't really gotten to use Decidueye that often, that much. I did Oko that comfy, which is really crispy. But other than that... It really hasn't done much. Um, this set is really cool, I think. The U-turn and the Shadow Sneak is really what draws it in, like, really, like, sells it for me. Um, the problem is that if you match up versus Sneasley, you're kind of fucked. But I do have Scarf, Passimian, Incineroar, and Deancey to kind of deal with that. Not kind of deal with that, they do deal with that. Although, Deancey is the only one of those that really appreciates getting knocked off. Slowbro has the Cloverberry and resists the ice moves, of course, and won't care about Pursuit if it doesn't actually try to switch. And Heliolus just gets outspent in O-Code. Pursuit probably O-Codes, unless I'm horribly underestimating Hitmon Top. Hitmon Top? Hitmon Top's bolt. So he doesn't lead with Ambo, he leads with Ambo. Who the fuck still leads with Ambo? We're in 2018. If he doesn't pursue me, this is a good place. So he doesn't pursue me, so I don't care. He goes for Taunt, though. That's a really nice play on his part. That's a, a fantastic play. That is an amazing play. I don't know. I wouldn't. Pro I probably wouldn't have made the play. But um, great play on his part. So he goes and hit Montal right after, and kind of uh, does this play after. So I don't know what this play is, especially because how imminent uh, either ground or steel move is. Gyro Ball, you're faster than Deancey, bro. I'm, this guy's kind of tweaking out. He made the amazing. He made the best play he, of his career on turn one, and he started tweaking after that. So uh, I guess we'll. I want to versus Vivalon because most Vivalon players who lead it have Sash. We missed the Toxic, which is booty cheeks. Because now this thing gets a kill. Now this thing gets a kill. Miss me with that bullshit. I'm gonna be saying miss me with that bullshit. Quite a lot during these lives, so that's specs, okay. So now we definitely know we don't have a switch in. I don't have U turn. So I guess I'll just darkest because he'll probably sack him on top. I'm going to claw it, sir, and let it take damage. Two hit KO, please. Everything is just at a two hit range, man. Kind of cheeks. Especially because our switch into this are also rather slim. But what do I need in Center for? It would be nice for intimidating things and for Executor.
So I guess we'll try to cheese this shit and go into the Heliolisk as he R spheres and ends us. Okay, he goes for Skull. Let's go. So he has no Volt Switch immunity. Executor does not have an immunity to the Volt Switch, so we will just Volt Switch. If he goes into Executor again, we'll probably Darkest with... Nah, if he goes into Executor... Yeah, we'll probably just Darkest, honestly. Amber Palm should not take this well. It doesn't. Oh, but we don't have any- oh, we have Passimia. Don't know how much- how- how I feel about letting, uh... Vivalon come in, but I do have the- oh, wait, Decidueye I can't do shit. Because of its weakness to sleep, so this is kind of a bad play. But I do have the Ancy. He goes in a Braviary, though, so... The Vivalon's not really yet. It is relevant, because he still has it, but it's not, uh going to be too much of a problem, especially because I'm about to get the rocks up. He'll get him on top in before rocks and likely sp uh, attempt to spin them, which I can block and then shadow sneak on the following turn, so I will do that. Amber Palm, the ghost resist is dead, but he still has Braviary, but at the same time, he goes for Z. All up on Okay. <laughs> I, got, I got scared. I, I low-key thought he was pulling out a... Should we sneak? Are we faster? Does he have Sucker Punch? He goes for Protect. So now he might want to go into Braviary. If he does that, he'll take Stealth Rock damage, so I don't care. I'll just sneak again. Uh, this is in case he had Sucker Punch or Bullet Punch or any priority. He goes into the Braviary. U-Turn's probably incoming. I can't do a thing about that, though. I guess I'll go into Deancey and hope to the Lord I outrun his Executor. After the U, he actually goes for Shadow Claw. I guess he predicted slow, bro, but U-turn still would have been better in that case for him. He is out of here too. This will probably be the last game, unless we lose, because you never want to end on a loss. Unless it's a lucky player video, you're like, nah, just fuck this shit, dude. This, he has some underrated threats. Girder, I didn't even know was even a Pokemon anymore. And Decidueye should get a kill with a, a ghost move once. I weakened some of his shit, but uh, gotta keep in mind that Kingler is faster than Decidueye. So uh, we're gonna lead with Incineroar. He leads with Ninjask. So this is a decent lead matchup for me. I'm just gonna go right for Darkest, because he's not gonna have double team. He's probably Banded, I would imagine, or Insect Plate. Or... He's definitely offensive. Hollow Sand's not gonna take this. Well, he's Cobra Berry, alright, alright. Got me, got me. Uh, without the berry, that did, uh, what's the percent I'm looking for? 58. So, like, I really don't have a... I'll go with this hard Decidueye, I guess. And go right for the CB Spirit Shackle. Because I don't think he's hard switching Komala into this thing. Ninjas will get bopped. This will get bopped if he stays in Blastoise. Uh-uh, Girder will take it well. But then I have... Ninja goodbye! Crit didn't matter. This is Choice Band Decidueye. So Ninjask is out of the picture. I was worrying about that then you turning all over the place, and now it's dead. And I can keep this- oh, Komala has Sucker Punch, never mind. Fuck Komala, but I do have Pissimian. If that becomes a problem. I don't think it will, but should it become a problem? This is almost a free Heliolisk switch in, but he does have that, uh, Icy Wind, and he has Apollo Sand. And I, I could surf, but Water Compaction. I'm also just gonna double back into Decidueye on the potential- yeah, let's go. Now I'm free to click Leaf Blade because the Grass Resist is gone. So, Apollo Sand out the picture, Decidueye starting to pick itself up, pick up the pace, it's doing work. It got some kills this live and starting to really make its presence felt. This is Choice Band Decidueye, what are you gonna do? Girder? Girder will live and knock us off, so I'll go into slow, bro. I wish I had a Psychic on this slow, bro, because that would be better against Girder, because Girder wants to set up bulk up all day. All damn day. Um, he goes into Komala, so I can only... Slyshock does over half, though, so I would imagine this would make him lead him to go on the offensive or U-turn or something. He goes for Sleep Talk and gets Last Resort. Okay, that's cool. Don't know why you wouldn't be using, like, Scarf. His fighting resists are all gone, so we're just gonna kill it now. Okay. I was expecting either U-turn or Swords Dance, or a Wood Hammer, or Return, something. Knock Off, maybe? Not Knock Off. He just knocked off the Wolverine. He goes into Girder. I can get damage, and no, he's gonna mark punch us, so... Back to Slowbro, it's really not a hard play. He goes for a bulk of good play, good play, good play. But I will not beat this because Scald's not gonna do enough. 
Yeah, I actually, I just lost. I think that's the game. I do have, I do have the Diancy on deck, so I will just switch into that. Um, hopefully he gets greedy, or doesn't predict this play. I don't know if this play is worth making. Yeah, it is. Okay, it is. Moonblast! Uh, he has no fairy resist. He didn't have one from the get-go. So this Moonblast is imminent. Um, Blastoise will take it, of course, because it's Blastoise. But now I can go to Heliot. No, I can't go to Heliolisk as freely as you would think. Passimian would be okay for Kingler, I guess, just getting damage on it. But I just want to go into Heliolisk, because he's going to Scald. I didn't think he would Scald, but he Scalded, so Heliolisk is inside. Let me just Thunderbolt and claim a light that didn't... That only did 51? Is he AV? I legitimately think he might be AV. I'm still faster than him, so I might as well just Volt Switch. Because, um, based on that one play from earlier, I am faster than him at minus. So never mind, he lived. So now it's a kind of a guessing game when I go to that. Simeon should live an icy one, right? He actually dragon tailed me into Diane's. Okay. Now I'm I'm just gonna go back and the Heliolus can make the exact same full switch play. If he scalds, we get more healthy dragon tails again. Can I get dragon tailed into a Pokemon that outruns Blastoise, please? Is that too much to ask? Like I would have loved if I had gotten dragon tailed into I don't know any of my mods that outsped it. Decidueye, U-turn. Kingler is finna set up, and then I'm finna lose. I legitimately think I just lose if this thing sets up, but I can't do anything about it. I can pray for the burn, burn, burn. Let me see that, uh, burn, boy? No, no burn, so we basically just lost. Unless he goes for Rock Slide, and then we're not, and then we're faster with a uh, Heliolus. So, yeah, this is a free Thunderbolt. I thought he'd set himself up, but, uh, actually, now that he has, a uh, my Slowbro down? Gert? No, 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 there's no way. I have Decidueye. I have... Uh, Diancy. So I guess I'm gonna go with Diancy after this Mock Punch. Um, so that's gonna be this game. Good game to this dude. Played pretty well. Played pretty well indeed, but uh, your boy played just, just, just a bit better. Just a bit better to claim the victory. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next live. I guess.